guys welcome back to a new video today it's gonna be my makeup inventory and I did one last year and I will link it in the description box down below where I had all the numbers and where I had a set goal for each category but truth be told I kind of changed the system for something that I think it's gonna work for me or something that I don't know, it's, it's gonna be my own little system that I hope it will help me go through the stuff that I have in my collection and the stuff that I don't need to get rid of or declutter more often. So what I did is I put everything into this uh, little folder and I actually put not only how many of each category but also the names, the colors and the prices on the side. So hopefully this way I can see the total and see in what I'm investing my money the most and what needs to be used up more than other categories. Now as soon as I finish one of these products I would use a yellow highlighter and if I declutter some of these products I would use a pink one and at the end of the year I think it would be really fun to look back at this. Uh, of course I'm going to have to you know kind of adjust this as maybe every six months if I receive more products or if I buy more products and stuff like that but I think that starting with it like a clean slate and you know have everything accounted into this in makeup inventory I think it's really gonna help me so the last year I had some set numbers for each category this year I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna explain myself a little I feel like if I had a regular collection where I didn't receive any products from any companies at all I, you know, I could stick with those numbers, but I, I need to be realistic and honestly, that's not the truth for me. Um, some companies send, for example, let's do foundations. I have 10 foundations and my number is five. So I declutter, I use up the foundations and everything, and then a company sends me a new foundation. Then I feel the pressure, or I felt the pressure, this 2015, I felt the pressure to get rid of something because I was receiving something new. Now, um, sometimes I would get rid of something that I really did like, and I pass it along to some of my friends or my mom or my sister, just because I felt like the pressure to get rid of it, but I didn't know if the new foundation was gonna be any better or if it was gonna be amazing as the one that I'm getting rid of. So being realistic is just, for me, it, I can't have a set number, but the idea behind this more intense inventory is that I can keep an eye on my collection, see what is the oldest product, use it up if I like it or if I want to use it up, if not, declutter it, and then always have like a new list of products on each category. So I feel like this is something that it might work if I stick with it throughout this 2016. So hopefully, um, I made myself clear, I'm not gonna do numbers for each category just because, you know, and sometimes the products that they send me, they don't even make it to a video because I didn't like them. And I just, or I just feel they're average, so they're not worth an entire video. So, you know, having those changes in my collection with a makeup inventory on paper, I think it's really gonna help. Let me go ahead and get started with the first category, which is one of my favorite ones. Well, it's one of the most, yeah, maybe top three, liquid foundations. And for that, I have 11. I love foundations. I love to try new foundations. I know exactly what I like in a foundation and what to look in a foundation for my skin. So I, I don't know, I feel like amazing by trying new foundations and, you know, finding different things and getting to know the product to the point that I can say, okay, it doesn't work for me, but maybe it will work for somebody else. I just love that process. So I don't mind having 11 foundations. I go through them really quickly. Then for BB and CC creams, I have six and I'm okay with that number. I love BB and CC creams and they're all kind of different because some of them have SPF, some of them don't, but all of them have some kind of moisturizing effect or skincare benefit. So. I love them and I actually use them often when I don't wear makeup and I want to even out my skin tone. That's what I go for. Then for powder foundations, uh, press and loose, I only have three. The Bare Mineral ones, the Mary Kay and the Too Faced. Mm -hmm. I love them. I think they're amazing. So I'm okay with that, you know, number. 
If I have to try a new one, I will and compare them to the ones that I already like. For face primers, I have four and honestly, three of them, I'm almost out of them. So I would probably need to invest my money in trying new face primers. So if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear them or read them <laughs> because I don't know, I feel like I need to try, branch out and try different brands just to have more informed, um, I don't know, reviews and just share with you different products, not only the ones that I already try and love. For eye primers, I have five. I'm okay with that number. Um, I mean, I use eye primer every single day and I do finish them. I, I don't know how, but I do finish them pretty quickly. Sometimes what I do is I use it under my eyes as well if they're creamy because it makes my concealer stay longer. So I don't know, maybe that's why I use them up quickly then for concealers i have 10 i love concealers i love to try new formulas i love 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 concealer i could have a hundred and i would never get bored some days i want something creamy some other days i want something matte and it kind of depends on my under eye skin how it's looking or if i have too many blemishes so kind of depends so i love to have different finishes different formulas and i will do reviews on all the concealers that i already have in my collection because that's the number one question as far as makeup you know good concealer from the drugstore a good concealer that i can that is not too expensive i mean all that will be coming up soon then for brown products i have 14 and i'm okay with that just because I know what I like for my brows, but I know that I have to try different things just to compare them and see if I like them more than what I already love. So I'm, I'm okay having those 14. Usually I get a lot of brow products from my Ipsy bag. So it's not like I go out and purchase a new brow product every month. Then for eyeshadow pencils, I have 12. And I feel like if you want some kind of cream base, I feel like the pencils are the way to go because they don't dry up as quickly as the little pots, like the Maybelline color tattoos. What I did is I just put them in a little container by me so I remember to use them because I do love them. I just forget. If I have them in a drawer, I forget to use them. The next category is cream eyeshadows and I have 13. And this is something that I do love. I love creating my shadows in these little pots. I love to use them with the set by Luxie that I never shared that video. And I will, I will share with you how I use them. You know that set that Luxie has that I compare with the Sigma brushes? I'll leave it in the description box. But basically, I found the perfect way to use all my color tattoos with those brushes. So I feel like it's so easy to create a look. And, and I forget that I have them. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I just actually put them right on top of my vanity to use them more. And I'm almost halfway done with my, um, is it from the leather, the creamy beige or something like that? And I started using it like a couple of weeks ago. So I just need to remember to use them. For small palettes, I have 19. Those are quads and quints and I need to use them and I will share at least two or three looks with each of these eyeshadow palettes. I feel like I have a lot from Wet n Wild, I have from MAC, Estee Lauder, I mean, <laughs> I just kind of forgot about those eyeshadows because I was doing my Panda Palette Challenge and I, I mean, I have my mind on it and I'm just gonna share the staple looks that I have with each one of those because I do love them all. For mascaras, I have 14 and that's a pretty good number. Last year, I think I had 20 plus and Honestly, I didn't know why. Well, I kind of know why. I, I'm always looking for the perfect mascara, or I was, until I realized that my lashes were just non-existent, sad, and I needed to find some kind of serum. I did find one, and now I'm using a different one in combination with the first one, and I'm using something to condition my lashes at night, and I feel like my lashes look amazing compared to last year, Recently, I finished four mascaras and I mean, I feel like I can just use them up so quickly that I don't mind that I have 14. I will share with you the products that I've been using for my lashes. So maybe if some of you want to try, you know, you just know what products have been working for me.